Hey bye, Thomas here, and this is going to be an interesting video. I'm doing a retake on the advanced computer set works from Timber King and how everything works out and some really neat features. So I'm going to go through kind of step by step uh, how to set up the system and how to do some tricks with the system. So I'm going to try to talk as loud as I can because I, for the life of me, cannot find my dang microphone, which I very rarely use it to begin with, but I can't find my microphone. So we're going to go ahead and try a few things. I'll listen to it, see how it sounds, and we'll go from there. So first things first, you can have the computer set works on while the sawmill's off, uh, and that will actually drain your battery. So just make sure you turn it off after the end of each use. But I have to have the engine on. I've got the log. A little bit further forward than normal, so hopefully it won't be too loud. So here we go. All right. So first things first, let's act like we are going to go all the way back to the beginning and and go ahead and reset everything on the saw. Head. So bring the saw head all the way down. I'm not going to speed up the RPMs or anything and make these actually faster, just so you can hear better. But we bring the saw head all the way down. And she should read one inch, but here recently I've been reading inch and 16, which means something has changed somewhere throughout here. Anyways, I know right now, but also you can't really tell, but I've got my tape way over there. Um, I can see it's reading, it actually shows slightly below an inch, but we'll just say it's an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and set home. So setting home, and you'll see the green light that popped up right there, it says home position set. So that's known at one inch, that's as low as my blade will go, that's home. Alright, so now let's bring the saw head back up. And I'm going to show you how to do some of your thickness cuts. So you've got all the stuff in green essentially is the auto saw stuff or the manual saw measuring from the bottom up. The white stuff, well actually take it back set return works regardless it should actually be green slash white uh, set return works on everything but we'll head forward to the saw or to the wood all right so if i have a log up there and say i i, I know what i want to cut i want to cut two inch boards throughout it but i know in my head doing some rough math at two inch boards I'm going to have some waste on my first cut, but I want to get that first cut to be a certain size. You can actually, so go ahead and set return, because right now my blade, it's hard to tell, but my blade is above the height of the log. So set return, and there's a, in fact, I'll do the other hand here. It says, uh, return position set. So it gives you a little indication on the screen when it's been set. So we set return. Now I'm going to bring the saw head, I'm going to bring the blade down to the very top of the log. Uh, do an adjustment um, thickness cut. So that looks like, I know it's not easy to see from your angle, but where I'm sitting at right now, the blade height is the height uh, of the flat section of the, of the cut there, last cut. Now, I want a certain thickness, so I'm going to go ahead and go F2 which now has me in my alternate mode. My alternate mode is adjusting thickness. Now I can do up and down thickness and everything, not a problem, and I can set my board thickness too. So let's go ahead and go to a preset. Uh, let's say I want that top board, I want that top one to be an inch and a half. So, boom, inch and a half. I'm in alt mode F2. Again, this is for thickness, measuring from the top down. If you did this, your bottom cut would be your throwaway cut. So I've, I've already got that. I've set my return already, and I've, I've got where I want. Actually, no, I had to set it here. I'm sorry. On the thickness one, you have to set it right there. So set return. It's set where it's at. And I go auto down. That brings an inch and a half down from the top of the ball. So I know that that board is an inch and a half. Now... Typically, whenever I go through this, I'm not in my alternate mode. I'm in, uh, you know, standard where I'm cutting just dimensional. But every once in a while, you'll run to a situation where, say, you're cutting for a customer, and he says, "Hey, uh, can you cut me one board out of this pile that's at this thickness and the rest this thickness?" Well, by doing this alt mode right here, um, 
and working the thickness, I can actually, you know, accomplish that without having to do the math in my head. You just have to line your blade up at the top of the log and go from there. Now, I've got to turn my water on real quick, so bear with me. I'll make this cut. We'll rotate the log, and I'll show you how to do the rest of this. Okay, water's on. We're going to engage the butt. Probably four oak logs so far today, so she's getting towards the end of her life. But she's still cutting okay. So let me go ahead and pause this. I'll get this slab off there. I'll show a little video to show the thickness of that and show how it works. And then uh, we'll turn it over and do the rest. All right, so now we have the log flipped over. And I'm still currently in alt mode F2. I want to go ahead and get out of that now. So just hit F2 again, which is your second button. And now what I want to do is cut these slabs. Let's go ahead and say I want to cut them at two inches. So I go into my presets. Now you can you can adjust it from here. But once you start adjusting from the screen, notice how it's yellow. It's it's pretty much warning you, saying, "Hey, you're not in accordance with what you told me to do." So you know you need to look at that. So go press OK, and it goes into your preset setup. Now this is what I like to use. I keep random numbers in here, and I change them all the time. So I get eight, six, four, inch and a half and inch to eight, whatever, what, just whatever I'm cutting. In fact, today I was cutting a lot of inch and a quarter. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that back to inch and a quarter because I got a few jobs I'm gonna finish up. Now this four inch, ah, uh, crap. Let's make this inch and a quarter. I wanna cut two inches, so I gotta dial all the way through here. And it goes at 16th of an inch, everything. So I've got two inches right there. I'll set this one at inch and a quarter. All right, so I'm at two inch thickness. You hit okay again, everything. Now I'm doing where it's measuring from the bottom up. And that's typically what you're gonna use, which means you're measuring from the bottom up, and you have, like in my case, I've got my reference cut already in the bottom. Measuring from the bottom up, your top board, your first board you do is gonna be your waist board. So I like to use this whenever I have a rounded section. So I'm gonna put my blade height is above the log, so set return, and then I'm gonna auto saw down until I know I'm into good meat. Now right there, I'd be skimming it. And I could do that cut, but I, I would not have a lot of meat there. So let me go one more down. Now I know I'm fully into that, that cant section right there, or that log section, and I'll make this cut. And then my cut, every cut after this will be at two inches. All I have to do is hit this button right here, auto up. Auto up, it goes to where I set my set return earlier. I bring the saw head back. And all I have to do now is hit auto saw down. And it'll go to that next two inch increment down and I'll make that cut. Yeah, 
this blade is probably the last cup this blade's going to do. I'm going to have to go ahead and change her out. As soon as I finish this cut, I'll bring her back up, bring her back, and we'll take some measurements to show the accuracy of the system. Again, auto saw up. Bring her back. Now, one thing I could do, if you needed to make a small adjustment, maybe there's something you didn't like or you wanted to cut a little bit less, you could hit manual saw down just to like a little bump it or whatever. But if I was to hit, so after doing that, if I was to hit auto saw down, which I'm clear right now, it will go to the next two inch increment. It will not take in consideration what you just did right there. So that's pretty neat. Just for sake of it all, I'll go ahead and throttle down the auto saw down. Just so for my next cut after I change the blade, I'll be at the correct height uh, for the cut I want to do next. Alright, so stay with me for one second. Let me pause this okay so these are the three cuts we already did now the first cut I measured it just by eye again when I was doing the thickness cut so I put the blade you know approximately at the top of the board and everything and as you can see sorry I was pretty dang close I mean I'm less than a sixteenth of an inch over an inch and a half so I'm happy with that now this is the one where the computer was doing and same thing about just a smidge, oh, I mean, less than a sixteenth of an inch over two inches. And again, your first cut, you should always, this is not going to make any difference or whatnot. My first cut, when I'm doing that uh, measuring from the bottom up and everything, the, the, the standard dimensional measurements, your first cut, I always like to have a rounded section on there because I'll get rid of my waist section and I cut deep into the wood. Now, when I was talking about blade going bad, I didn't realize. Uh, that was a lot of dirt and sand, so I just I trashed the blade on that. I should have looked at the log before, and I just threw it up on there just for for giggles. But I hope that was helpful, uh, kind of going over the setup of this. Now I've got a buddy up in Tennessee, uh, good friend, and everything. We're gonna see if we can show the comparison between the old style system that's on the 2000 uh, from I guess prior to year 20. 16 or 17 whatever the older style system is we're gonna see if we can show some differences between the two so he's gonna be sending me a video and we'll see what kind of magic editing i can do for my next video but what we did again just a recap we first you know readjusted the saw by going into or setting our home so we know all the way down one inch is the lowest she will cut and if you are say cutting something less than an inch and you start actually you know cutting your last cut regardless of say if you're cut half inch boards your last cut is going to be an inch There's, there, it can't go any more than an inch so just keep that in mind whenever you're, you're cutting that stuff um the drag back if i didn't hit auto up if i had the drag back system which are those three bars right there if i had those down if i hit drag back what it would do is it would take the blade up about I know roughly a quarter of an inch or so above your last cut and then those those fingers there would bring the the board back and it'd come off the back of the mill i don't use that uh, first off because <laughs> i have a wall right here uh, that's used if you're on a job site my buddy jack uses it every so often but in my applications i i'm not a big user of the drag back i've used it like once just to see that it works and it works Let's see what else. Um, yeah, there's there's so many different things you can do with this. I mean, these are just some of the the, the techniques I do. I know there's more into this. Um, you know, you can go through your presets. So if, if you use this button right here, rather than going to this screen right here, it automatically goes through your presets. There's little things there. You could also do this, go left or right. But again, I like to go in there, and I don't know. It's just personal preference, whatever. <laughs> Um, for adjusting, I think I already showed that, but 
all I do is up arrow, down arrow, and you can adjust your your thickness. So, and it goes in sixteenth uh, of an inch. So that's pretty good uh, accurate cutting and everything. That's about the accuracy you can expect on a bandsaw mill is, is roughly about sixteenth of an inch. And that's one other thing I gotta say. When you're using the computer and you're doing your dimensional cuts, say you want a 12 by 12 and then you're gonna cut that into two by sixes, true two by sixes and everything. Well, in actuality, your six inch pieces, in order to cut that in half, you'd want 12 and like three sixteenths or something like that because it'll take in consideration the curve of the blade. And then on your height wise, if you know you're, you're doing two inches and everything, it's it's really, that that gets compounded throughout it because each cut you do, you're taking out a sixteenth of an inch. So really, you're looking at like 12 and 5 eighths or some, some goofy uh, iteration in there, but it takes in consideration that. So whenever you're cutting dimensional stuff, don't just cut all your cans into 12 by 12 if you're using a computer. You have to, you know, you can look at it and say, okay, what is, that's, that's also why I like to leave my first cut. So after I get my, 12 and 3 16 inch and cut it in half i know i have two six inch wide boards then i turn the whole cant up and i always leave my top portion rounded because then i'll start working down with the computer i never actually really use a squared up cant whenever i'm cutting dimensional lumber i like to have three sides cut off and that top side i'm going to use my computer aka my waste board measuring from the bottom up will be my first cut and that's, that's a great way to save wood and try to maximize every single cut you can do. Uh, there's a lot of other tricks you can do with this, but that's just my little uh, you know, entry-level examination into the Timber King Advanced Computer Setworks. Uh, I will try to get another video out here soon once I get some uh, participation from my buddy up in Tennessee um, with the older Setworks and show some differences between it. But I think they're actually pretty similar. This one's just a little bit more fancier, dancier with uh, the screen on there and... The other one, I believe, was like a, almost like a, a, a LCD type, like a clock face, uh, you know, screen. So this this is a little bit fancier. And when you turn it on and off, you know, it turns off, goes black, and everything. But when you turn it on, it does go through a startup sequence, um, and actually has all the Timber King information on there. Pretty cool. But it, it's pretty quick. So yeah, hope that's helpful. We'll see you around. Thanks.